Ghanaians have gradually developed a taste for sweet scented rice, now a common feature on the menu of restaurants and other eating places, as well as on most festive occasions. Now, most of the brands are, however, imported mainly from the United States or Thailand or maybe uh, uh, somewhere in, in Asia. But the Crops Research Institute is in the process of developing an aromatic variety of the staple that will be uniquely Ghanaian. It will equally serve the needs of farmers as the variety is expected to be, yield, to be high yielding and resistant to pests. Now here's a story by Adiratha. To long grains, the Ghanaian market is flooded with a variety of brands. Statistics show the country imports more than 70% of the rice it consumes, largely due to low cultivation. It is also because the local rice does not appeal to consumers because of its poor quality and taste. In its quest to develop a local variety that would meet the expectations of local consumers, the CSIR Crops Research Institute has settled on a grain that has aroma and is resistant to the blast and rice yellow mottle virus, the two most dominant rice diseases in Africa. Rice breather with the Institute, Dr. Maxwell Dakwa Sante tells Joy News, using the maca assisted selection, the Jasmine 85 good quality fragrant rice, which is susceptible to the two diseases, has been crossed with a disease tolerant Dijan variety, which has poor taste and grain quality. When the plant is still very young, I can take a little tissue, extract DNA, and use the markers to, 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 to be able to know which plant has the aroma and which ones do, do not have the aroma. So immediately I throw away the ones without aroma if, I'm, if, if my interest is in aroma. Because otherwise you, you, you have to do visual selection. And sometimes it's, it's, it's very difficult, especially when you are dealing with a recessive trait. It, does, it doesn't really show up until it, you go to the next generation for it to segregate. The molecular markers are just like signposts. To, to, to help you to, to know whether the gene that you are interested in is there or not. Yeah, so we, we use those modern t t technologies, just DNA markers, to, to be able to speed up their selection. He explains the marker-assisted selection is still conventional breeding and not genetic modification since there is no foreign gene transfer. Dr. Santi and his team are in the process of selecting lines that have been able to combine high yield, tolerance to the diseases, and the good grain quality preferred by most Ghanaians. He says farmers in the meantime will find useful Jasmine 85 and Amanquetia rice varieties, which were released in 2009 and 2010 respectively. The other name of that variety is called Masha. It's a very good variety. It yields well. It has, it has aroma. Another very good variety in terms of grain quality is called Jasmine 85. It was released by our sister institute, Sari in, the, in Temali. Those varieties alone can 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 help us do a lot. We, we, are, we at the research level or at the breeding level are doing our, our part. There are good varieties now. We have a, a lot of other good varieties in, in the pipeline. According to him, Ghana can attain self-sufficiency in rice production using a value chain approach where research, production and marketing are all given the needed attention by government and other stakeholders. Most of our lands are not well developed for lowland rice cultivation and land development costs a lot so the government will have to come in to support farmers to develop land bond it very well level it very well and we have we have the technology to be able to help farmers do that post harvest handling is, is very important uh, the farmers even don't have floors to dry their, their, their rice properly. So we need to help them with drying floors. We need to help them with very good rice, rice, rice mills. Dr. Santi lamented the limited government support for research is not helping agriculture, a very important sector of the economy.